So it was announced in, I believe, Backstage Magazine, I will link to the interview down below, that the character of LeFou in the upcoming live action adaptation of Disney's Beauty and the Beast is going to be gay. Yay. I guess, the, I guess the thing that I find odd, strange, slightly ridiculous about this whole reveal and the sort of push that they're kind of putting it like, this is like the first like a big Disney movie character to be gay is that one since it's LeFou like deciding what characters that you're gonna make gay out of your special snowflake group like you know what I mean it's like you chose probably the least impressive character in the entire cast to make gay like LeFou guys the fool, like, that's who you think that we want for our gay representation is just, like, the idiot sidekick character. Like, that's gonna be, like, that's not impressive, to be quite frank. I mean, like, it's just not impressive. Not when we have Legend of Korra making their main fake character is bisexual. Like, not when we have, like, you know, Paranormal, all these other shows who have done this already. Like, Disney's just behind. Disney is behind on the game. And then be like, we made LeFou gay. We had a very cute moment. Like, he's gonna dance with a guy, make a winky face. He's gonna be like, ah. It's like, that's not good. Like, come on, guys. Really? Like, th this is a, like, you couldn't, like, and the thing about it too, like, they have so many options. You know what I mean? Like, give me a Lumiere Cogsworth, you know? Like, that's, that would be good to have them be a gay couple because they spent the entire fucking movie together. Like, just make, or make, you know, Lumiere's bisexual. He's a flirty little bisexual Frenchman, you know, lit and whatever. And Cogsworth is, you know, the, the Mitchell since I'm sure they watch Modern Family and Disney. You know what I mean? Like, let that be a thing. Or, you know, make, I mean, they're not gonna make Belle a lesbian or bisexual because they're basic. But, you know, Gaston can be bisexual. I mean, this is fucking France, guys. Like, you know, you read stories about the French court, how, like, do you know how many French kings had, like, male lovers and all kinds of shit? And, you know what I mean? And, you, and you're like, mm, we can't make, we're so afraid of the homosexuals. <laughs> it's like, ugh. LeFou, guys. And, they, and you know they want praise for this. Like, they want they want to not have the controversy of, like, you know, churches be like, we don't want to show this movie to our kids with your gay agenda. They don't want to deal with that. So it's going to be really, really subtle. Like, a wink and a nod and a... But they want to have the praise of, like, well, we did it, guys. We made him gay. We are doing... We're, progress is slow. But it's happening. And we just want to be like, no. This isn't great progress. This isn't a great accomplishment that you made. The side, like you know, like it's a nobody character that you're gonna make gay. Like no one of importance, no one with any dignity. And it's these are active choices. You are choosing to make this character gay because you don't want to attract major attention, but you want gay points. And that's not fair. He's just confused. He's secretly in love with Gaston, and he's confused. It's like. It's 2017, guys! Like, what are you talking about? It's just the most ridiculous sort of, you know, it's, it's like that pseudo-liberalism of like, we're progressive, we, 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 we have nothing against gay people, we think they're great, their fashion's amazing, but like, we don't want to gay, we, we, you know, we just, we don't want to expose our kids to it too young. I am going to end up seeing this stupid fucking movie even though I can already tell that I am not going to fully enjoy it. But I do, because like, the costume looks, the dress looks terrible, guys. I mean like, how is it so basic? Belle is my favorite, dudes. You know this. You know I have mad ba- I bought another Belle Pop. Just because it was there. Like, I love Belle. And so, and I love Emma Watson, you know, besides her being like OG white femme and, you know, she is OG white femme, but like Emma Watson, I will always love her because, not because she's Hermione, but because she was one of the first women I ever felt attracted to in a serious way. Like I knew I was bisexual because of Emma Watson when I was in my mid-teens. Like that was kind of like the first wo woman who was like, wow, this is a weird tingly feeling in my chest. 
And I was like, I don't want to, I'm not, I'll be like, I remember just being like, I don't like him, I want to like that, I just want to be like her friend or whatever. <sighs> no, I, I like her a lot. She's very pretty. I think that she's very well meaning, but they got someone who is on a singer and they're going to make it a singing movie. And it's just, there's just so many things about it. I'm just like, why couldn't she have gotten someone who was unknown? Gets, you just wanted the star power of, but then you get someone like fucking Cousin Michael from fucking Downton Abbey, guys. Like, I just, for me, I feel like these, these adaptation movies are trying really hard to be progressive, but not wanting to actually commit to being progressive. Like, the whole thing about, well, Ben Bell's an engineer and a fucking inventor. It's like, yes. But she's still going to fall in love with the guy who keeps her in a tower. Let's stop pretending that we're doing something magical and feminist. These movies cannot be feminist. This is not to say that Disney movies cannot be feminist. But these Disney princess movies overwhelmingly are just not. Because they're not about anything dealing with feminism. Not for real. Anyway... I, I appreciate what they're trying to do, but like, if you're gonna make these live, if you're gonna make these live action adaptations, make them fun, make them colorful, you know, make them good. And if you want to be progressive, then be progressive. Make someone important gay or a person of color. Don't just give them a scraps and be like, "Are you happy? Look, we did it. Aren't you happy?" No, because we're fucking intelligent. The kids who grew up with these movies, we're in our twenties and we write think pieces about this. We see you. We see the forest for the trees, guys. Come on.